Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is December 18th, and right now we're looking at the visible satellite imagery. You can see those lower clouds still trapped in the inversion, but this is not going to last long. We have the storm track returning to much of the state of California here as we go on in through the Christmas time period. And we're going to dive into all those details as we go through the video here this morning. Big pattern change incoming. And if you want an affordable home weather station for a great Christmas gift, buy one of these for a friend, family, or loved one, or heck, buy one for yourself. It's much more fun to watch the weather when you have one attached to your place of residence. Click on that link down below to save 10% off. So you can see Sacramento National Weather Service definitely all over it, talking about the pattern change upcoming here. You can see Sunday, Monday through Tuesday. And then eventually, as we go through next week towards Christmas, we start to get some more major impacts potentially across much of the state of California. More on that here in a moment. Los Angeles also starting to put out the timeline. You can see for San Luis Obispo, Central Coast areas are going to get it first, of course, then down towards Southern California. And especially as we go through Christmas Eve and Christmas could be some active storm activity for much of Southern California. Now, taking a look here, there's a ridge that's been protecting us and just that storm train that's just been absolutely hammering the Pacific Northwest. But you can see it starts to shift a bit further south here as we start to head on in towards this weekend. And you can see this trough really dropping down the West Coast of North America. So that's going to include much of the state and some very active weather as we go through the Christmas time period coming up there. And we may remain active as a troughing off the coastline. You can kind of see that at times down the West Coast of North America. We'll watch that. It's a little bit too far off in the extent of forecast to get too worried about that just yet, but definitely some active weather returning. So artificial intelligence, European model, another potent system up into the Pacific Northwest, just clipping Northern portions here as we go through tonight. Starts to sag a bit further South here as we go through the day on tomorrow though. And you can see some pretty impressive precipitation trying to roll into some of Central California Bay Area, generally northbound as we go through this upcoming weekend on in through the early portion of next week. You have to start to watch out for some flooding concerns as we head on in towards December 22nd second and 23rd. And then you notice as we go through the 23rd on the nighttime, there's Christmas Eve morning right there. Look at this trough all the way down the coastline there, bringing some rich moisture back up into portions of Southern California. We're going to have some flooding concerns with this as well. And it could be prolonged additional systems after that, as we go on in through the 26th, 27th. And again, we'll be watching that on a daily basis coming up. Then what's going to happen after that? Who knows? Now, taking a look at the European, a little bit of a closer look here. I want to show you something that a terministic run was showing last night. So you can see the precipitation amounts could be heavy at times for some portions, mainly north of the Bay Area as we go on in through the 21st. And I mean, some of this atmospheric river activity is pretty persistent. They're just north of the Bay Area. So that's going to have to be watched pretty closely. And then look at this storm developing on the 23rd. Look at this low pressure center approaching the Bay Area. Potent pressure gradient on the south side of that. Some big rainfall for Southern California. And as you can imagine, that would bring some strong winds with it as well as much of Central California would get hammered by a storm like that. And so would Southern California. Look at some of these wind speeds here ripping across the region. Look at these southerlies burrowing into Southern California as well. Pretty potent storm. So that's something we have to look forward to here. We have some storm activity and some of it could be strong as we go on in through the Christmas time period. So total precipitation in inches. Let's scroll through this ridiculousness because you can see the plume of moisture pointed at some essential and northern. Southern California includes Southern California also. Look at some of these amounts as we go through the 10 day time period. I mean, we've pegged the scale here on the National Blend of Models. Some of the coastal ranges getting hit hard as well as Sierra Nevada. Hopefully, a lot of that could fall as snowfall, especially across the higher terrain. It'd be great to start building up that snowpack. And Southern California, again, under the gun here as we go on in towards the end of the month. Now, if we look at the artificial intelligence and the GFS artificial intelligence, we'll scroll on through here pretty quickly. I just want to kind of show you that we ha do have some pretty good model agreement as we scroll off in towards the end of the month for these big precipitation amounts across a lot of the state. And if we look at excessive rainfall outlook, this is today's atmospheric river portions of Oregon, just clipping Northern California as well. Day two, that starts to slide a bit further south. This is from Friday morning through Saturday morning. There's day three, the marginal risk continues and we've got kind of that rare day four slight risk. And that does include some of the Bay Area, Sacramento, foothills of the Sierra Nevada, the higher terrain in Northern California and the coastal range. So again, pretty intense atmospheric river activity is incoming. And we even got the marginal on day five. We'll be watching that and breaking it down on a daily basis. So it's positive snow depth change in inches. I'm just going to kind of look at a little bit 
on into next week here. And you can see some of the snow piling up. That's on Christmas Eve. Nice snowy Christmas Eve and perhaps Christmas morning for some of the Sierra Nevada and some of the higher terrain of Northern California there. And again, it's that time of year. We would like to start to build up that snowpack. So cross your fingers for that activity. But some pretty good amounts there. This is positive snow depth change in inches. This isn't a cherry pick Kuchera or 10 to 1 ratio snowfall map here. This was actually what would be snow on the ground at times. So yeah, good stuff. Now, 6 to 10 day precipitation outlook above normal. That should make sense. There's the above normal and the 8 to 14 day. Much of the West Coast is included in that. And same with the temperature, kind of a mixed bag here for some of the California. But the experimental products have continued to show this here. And it's done a pretty good job because we now know that the storms are likely on their way. And the West Coast should stay active as we go all the way towards the new year. And look at that high risk. It has some heavy snow as well. Cross your fingers and the risk for some winds also. Drought monitor. This is updated today again no change it's just abnormally dry out there the entire state of california is drought free and if you want to donate to the channel and put some of your hard-earned money and help support the channel patreon page is probably the best way to do that so yeah if you want to do that patreon lets you lets your creator keep about 88 to 90 percent of what you do donate so anyway yep hope you guys are having a good day otherwise we'll continue to watch this and break it down on a daily basis and i will catch you in the next forecast